That's cool, dude. I like it. Dude, 7,000 kilometers on this thing already. I wouldn't even say it's about time. I do. I would say we are way, way overdue for our first under the hood mod. A little bit of extra power for the Jeep. Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. We are so close to this hoist. Why is that? Today we have an awesome little care package for the Jeep that I'm super stoked about. First off though, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of your support on the last video. You guys were all super positive and commenting really just nice and good things. I was super stoked about the video and a lot of you guys were also and I really just wanted to say thank you to you guys because you know, having your guys support means a lot to me. And also I just wanted to let you guys know that we're supposed to have like a huge merch clear out for whatever Black Friday or Boxing Day. We're supposed to have a Boxing Day sale, but towards the end of last year, uh, into the beginning of January was when I was like super, super burnt out. And I don't know if you guys could tell, and I completely just disregarded everything to do with the merch. So I know this is random, I know this is late, but we have a huge blowout sale right now on everything that was supposed to be the Boxing Day sale. Uh, we didn't really offer you guys a sale. So anybody that wants something and wants something dirt nasty cheap, now's your time. A couple of these holographic Committed Crew stickers. We got Jet Tags. These are the three colors we have right now. We also got the Tukes. You can fold them down. You can wear them as a beanie. We got you covered. This is last year's Committed Crew uh, 2021 Scoop Tee, the black with the white circle or square logo there. Clearing out all of these. And we have a total of one white Scoop Tee left. I'm holding it right here. It's an extra large. If any of you guys want an extra large scoop tea, go grab. This is the only one we have. But that's it. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time with that or waste the beginning of this video. I just wanted to let you know. But today, we're working on the Jeep, boys. So we have been having parts coming in the whole time I was gone. You guys missed absolutely nothing. I did absolutely no installs, no anything. When you guys were not watching, I didn't want you guys to miss out on anything uh, as far as modifying cars goes. But today, we're doing the first. Does the exhaust? count of the first mod that's going to give us another little bitsy of horsepower which i'm very excited about thankfully the front of this jeep is still somewhat clean because the booty is dirt nasty dude it's just thank god we only have like a month ish left of this weather dude i just hate i hate driving any car in the winter it just gets me mad even if i bought like a beater i hate driving in the winter because i just hate having all over it and while we have the jeep in here today actually we're going to do a quick oil change because like I showed you guys, this thing's already got 7,000 kilometers on it. Which, I don't know when that happened, but the oil life monitor, I think it's at like 50%. It's got 7,041 kilometers on it, and it says the oil life is at 49%. Which, I don't know if I've ever taken a car with the oil life, oh geez, uh, to its full like 0%, but I know that Jeeps are notoriously not trustworthy. I'm gonna do oil changes extra, extra, on time and on my 7,000 ish kilometer schedule because I do not want this thing to detonate. <laughs> Smells like a blown head gasket. Could you imagine? See, somewhere along the way, I stopped doing this. I don't know how it got in my brain, but I started feeling like to continue to grow and continue to be better, I had to stop showing you guys irrelevant things and make everything as entertaining as possible. And I know this isn't true, and the reason my channel grew in the beginning was because I showed you guys the ups, the downs, my daily struggles. I just filmed my life. I documented what I was doing. I wasn't always trying to create. And somewhere along the road, I got lost in trying to create. And now that I'm back, I really, I'm just happy to say that I've recognized that. And I just want to focus on documenting and, and sharing my life with you guys. Because whether you relate because you, you know, do the same thing at home, or whether you wish you could do what I'm doing, me living my life is unique in its own way. And me just being me is the only way to be different. And that's something I've learned and I hope you guys can take from, from me if not learning it yourself because it's a lot harder to learn it yourself but that's the mission I'm on now is to be me and share with you guys and have fun. OG vibes. Jeeps, oil changes. They go hand in hand. Get that shit done. You know what, for that matter, just any, any car, all cars, do your and oil changes. I know all your girlfriends just looked at you and were like, oh, because they're like 20,000 kilometers over their oil change. Get that shit done.
today's goodies. This is something that I'm actually super excited about because it has uh, like expansion capabilities. I guess is what I would call it. I don't know what you would actually call it, but uh, you guys remember that I put the in-gen axle back exhaust on my Jeep. It was the first time I've ever done an axle back, but it sounds so good. Like I've been driving around with it now for what, at least, at least two months. And I love it, dude. Like I love it. I have been absolutely loving this thing. It's probably disgusting under here right now, but it makes just enough noise, nothing more than it needs to. And all of you guys in the video were like, yo, if you pair that with a cold air intake, it will be the perfect sound for this Jeep. And uh, you guys weren't the only ones that were thinking that. All right, so this is the InGen Evolution intake. This is so sick, dude. So this, I got mine with a dry filter. You guys can get yours with an oil filter. In my specific needs, where I'm gonna be driving and using the Jeep and stuff, the dry filter pretty much suits 99% of where I'm gonna be taking the Jeep. Now I know this looks like a bunch of nothing just laid out on the table here, but this intake is actually really, really cool for a couple reasons. So first off, same with the exhaust, they dyno test everything. They don't just say, oh, it adds five horsepower and then it doesn't add anything and then it's garbage, none of that shit. So when I put my exhaust on, I'm pretty sure it said it was about 10 horsepower gain. So this thing, this intake, is actually supposed to get you 11 horsepower and 11 foot pounds of torque untuned. Obviously, if you tune the Jeep, uh, you can go ahead and get even more. So seeing that now I have a cold air intake and a little bit of an exhaust, I could actually bring this thing down to Nick and see if he can maybe squeeze the 10 here and 10 there into like 30 total. I don't know how much room you get out of these things, but if you be getting cheap intakes and stuff, sometimes you get engine lights. These are designed to not throw codes and also give you horsepower untuned. And obviously you can capitalize on that when you get tuned. But the coolest part about the in-gen for me was I don't, I don't think I want to snorkel on my Jeep. I don't know though. I think snorkels can look cool. Obviously snorkels are more for practical use than to look cool. InGen actually makes a snorkel for this, this exact box. They're on like the final stages of production. When I decide to get the snorkel, if I decide to get the snorkel, I already have everything that is required to get up to there. And then this is the part where you would, instead of bolting on like the little dust cover piece here, you would bolt a snorkel into here. So, so that's why I got this thing. I'm super hyped about that because I don't want to fully cancel out the ability to one day run a snorkel if I so choose. I just, I don't know, man, this Jeep's still new and cutting the hood and putting a snorkel there just scares the hell out of me. For now, we're just gonna do this boy. So I will leave a link in the description down below if you guys wanna check this thing out. I'm stoked. Let's, uh, let's make some room in this girl. you in this little bag. Oh, got it. Dude, that one's freaking huge too. Oh my God. I assume we're gonna want these, all these feet and hardware pieces. All right, so this seems to really only pull air from right there, which is kind of an awkward spot, actually, when you think about it. When the hood's, when the hood's closed, that's like right here, and then here, so I guess there's like a little bit of airflow up through the grill, but, oh, right here there's an air flower, <laughs> an air flower right here through the grill flows up to there. That makes more sense, okay. There's definitely enough room to put a nice, fat supercharger right about here. Oh, baby, she's clean on both sides. That's what I like to see. So this whole shablamo with all these little air silencer port weird things to keep everything quiet gets replaced with Uno Pipo. And I think this is mainly why intakes do really well because a lot of this is for silencing. At least that's my knowledge, right? It kind of like baffles air in here and air in here and stuff. Uh, to make it a little bit quieter. And you can also see that this is like a thin as heck piece. Like look at, this one even has a little flat spot on the bottom and look how much bigger, bigger it is. Bigger? And then instead of having a big gaping hole right here, they actually give you this, which can bolt on uh, like this, like this, ah, like this. Still leaves a hole right here so that when that little piece comes up, it kind of sucks more direct air in. Just twist locks right in there, which is nice. That makes it really easy to clean when we want to clean it.
almost too easy. Actually, I'm gonna pull these off just so that they don't start rattling and being annoying as hell. Dude, this thing actually looks so cool. It's just so simple and beefy, and I like how it just kind of sits up right here. The other one kind of was like super flat, tucked away. I really like it. I think it looks really cool. You can see the air filter through the little peephole so you can know if it's getting dirty, if you need to clean it. This is where you abort, bolt the snorkel if you decide to get it. So you just unbolt this, the snorkel comes up, comes over, and then and you have a snorkel based off your already installed intake, which is, I just think that's so cool. So that is fire. We have one final thing we gotta check. Obviously. And right, ah, it dripped on me. Looks like right in time, dude, because we're almost, almost running out of daylight. It's obviously sound different because I'm in the garage. I never start this thing in the garage. First test. Make sure nothing's leaking. I don't know, dude. Seems alright to me. I don't see any leaks. <laughs> I forgot to move my oil pan. That could have been so bad. Uh, sorry, what? Bro, I feel like I can hear it. I barely even stepped on the gas. Dude, that's like no beans. That is absolutely me doing nothing. Little second gear, like... This, this might actually be the first intake I've ever installed where you noticeably can hear it. Dude, that's sick. Everybody always says like, oh, put an intake, it's gonna change the sound. And I, I literally have said in videos before, not really. It'll give you a little extra butt dyno, it won't really change the sound. I, I'm an idiot, I guess. From an interior standpoint, I really hope you guys can hear that. Like this is just mild acceleration. Dude, that is unreal. They don't pay me to tell you guys anything. I straight up, and this, I've never, ever, ever, ever put an, ex, uh, an intake on that made my car sound louder. This is the first, even the one on my truck. When I saw the intake on my truck, I said, back there, maybe you can hear a little bit. In the cabin, maybe you can hear a little bit. Nothing like this, dude, this is wild. I mean, as far as butt dyno, it's a Jeep, so like, Bro, it sounds good. Like even just driving like this. Bro, come on. That sounds so good. My exhaust is even a little more farty. Like I can hear it in here. Dude, fuck yeah. I genuinely wasn't expecting it to, to do that. That's cool, dude, I like it. I tried to get you guys some driving clips, but uh, it, you can tell it was like minus 20 something for the last week or so. Um, and now today it's like 10 degrees, everything is like melting and very wet. And it's just really hard to get driving clips because it just sounds like water. We just kept it with some revvies, but dude, 
Oh, I really, really hope the camera does this justice. A lot of times cameras suck at picking up sound. It sounds so good. It's just really throaty, really like grunty. And when, when you're like in my truck, for example, in like a V8, when you step on the gas, you feel that like <gasps> of a truck. And this obviously never had that, it's just a V6. And the exhaust was one thing, but that's so loud under there that you don't even hear the exhaust anymore. Dude, it's just straight intake. 100% would recommend, worth the money, I believe it gives you, you know, the 11 horsepower, 11 foot pounds of torque. Not that you can feel it in a giant beast like this, but if you pair it with an exhaust and maybe we get a quick tune, I'll leave a link below. That is a sick setup. Huge shout out and thank you to InGen for the extra little swag. I can now throw this guy just fully, fully in the recycling bin because nobody's ever gonna want him. And before I let you guys go, I just wanted to say that I know I just kind of like up and left. I ghosted on purpose though. So first of all, thank you to everybody that's here and was being super positive when I came back. I love you guys. And I would like to start engaging with you guys more like I used to. I don't know when that stopped. I took that time off because I was trying to see what I wanted to do with my life, where I wanted it to go, what direction to head in. And the reason I didn't answer any of you guys or anything was because I didn't want you to sway me. Like I wanted to come back to YouTube because I wanted it, not because 25,000 million people were telling me they wanted me back. That's why I didn't answer you guys. I don't hate you guys and I really do appreciate everybody that reached out. Instead of saying what's next, what should I do next, what should I do next, I started saying what do I want my life to look like and I think that's a question that you guys should all ask yourselves because saying what do I want to do or what do I want to be or whatever doesn't really plan your life out right. What do you want your life to look like? Do you want to get up and grab a camera every day or do you hate cameras? Do you want to get up and talk to people every day or do you hate people? Pick what you want your life to look like and then narrow that in. That's the best way to really find out what you want to do. And mine now always came back to travel. So I love traveling. You guys caught me in the middle of my BC adventure when my channel first started getting traction. And I like not necessarily traveling, like I love traveling and I like camping and being outside. I like sunlight, I like fresh air. Adventure is the key, we'll, we'll call it adventure. That's what I want to try to gear my videos towards more because well, this is almost like, as far as what I'm gonna do to it, I got a couple more things, and then it's gonna start to get weaned off, and we're gonna start another build, and then we're gonna start another build, and then what, like, why? Like, where do they end, and what's the point? But yeah, there's not, not like no more cars. I'm always gonna work on cars. I just did that today. And all the things I do will be like, we went out camping, I want a tailgate table, so I'll put a tailgate table on. That's working on cars, that's a mod. I'll still do that, but it's not gonna be like always switching builds. It's gonna be like using the shit I have. It just seems better to me. I don't know though, like, we don't know. We're just trying everything. All I'm trying to say is this is just a trial and error. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I have to try, you know what I mean? So that's that. And then the other part of where I went was I was super burnt out. Moral of the story, I know this has been a very long ramble, but I just wanted to say that I'm gonna try and connect with you guys more comments and members tab will be fired up a little bit better. I'm gonna try and just be involved with you guys because that's what I like to do. And cars aren't going anywhere. I'm gonna start living in them if anything. So that'll be fucking so exciting and so fun to do. We're gonna try some stuff and see what happens. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sorry for the ramble. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed.